Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Today we are going to be doing another album review and today we are going to be talking about the latest album from the band Sightcore titled The Alliance. So some of you uh, might know this band because I did a video about them last week um, saying that they were coming out with a new album. Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about it. And for those of you who don't really know anything about the band, they are a metal band from Germany. They're kind of a mixture between industrial metal and melodic death metal, kind of, I guess. Maybe with some, like, electronic and gen elements thrown in there, too. If you know the band Solution 45, then, uh, these guys are kind of similar in style to them. Not completely, but that is really the closest band I can think of. But anyways, this is a very, very good band that I discovered very recently, and they just released this album last Friday, and today I'm going to be reviewing it for you guys. So as usual, I'm going to be talking a little bit about things that I enjoy about the album and things that I dislike, and sort of overall thoughts and a couple of my favorite songs and everything. So there is a lot to like about this album. Um, the first thing which I usually say about most albums I review is the production and the mixing and the sound overall is good. Not necessarily the quality of the music, but just the sound overall is pretty good. The sound quality is good. Of course, that makes for a more enjoyable listening experience. As far as the music itself, there are many good things. Uh, the vocals are a standout here, I think. Uh, the vocalist is really, really good, both in uh, the uh, sort of growling vocals and the um, clean singing, which this album does have a little bit of clean singing on some songs, and uh, those are all done very well, and I think that the clean vocals are actually some of the highlights of the album. They are utilized very well. Another thing I really like about this album and this band in general uh, especially on their last album, Identity, and this album, is the guitar riffs. Um, I mean, all of their albums have had good guitar riffs, but I especially like the sort of style that is on uh, their last, this album and their last album, where they're kind of melodic, but they're also kind of, if you uh, have heard, like, sort of gem kind of bands, they have that sort of style to them as well, and that really works well and I really like it. The guitars overall in this album are fairly well done, and uh, they always sound really good. In particular, um, there are a few riffs that I would like to mention. There's like a lead guitar riff at the end of the song Aeons, which is really good, and I'm a sucker for like melodic guitar riffs and stuff, so I really liked that, and then also the uh, main riffs in songs like Dream Smasher, The Gift of Failure, The Alliance, and The Voice of Conviction are all some of the, uh, I think, the best guitar riffs in the album. And this album is also full of some really good choruses. Um, really the songs overall are very good, but there are several choruses that really stand out. They're very kind of big and epic feeling and very anthemic in some cases and they just have a really great feeling to them. Uh, in particular, The Alliance, Dream Smasher, Reject the Stream, Values of Death, Leviathan, and The Voice of Conviction. I did just name probably about half of the album there, but those are all really great choruses. Really overall, throughout the album, all of the choruses are very good, but those are just some of my favorites. Another thing about the album that I like uh, is the drums. Uh, something that I even noticed when I was listening to uh, the single off the album, which is the title track, The Alliance. When I was listening to that, the drums were one of the things that really stuck out to me, and they are one of the highlights of the album, I think. They're really well done, and they sound very punchy and impactful, and they're really, really cool. And with this band having sort of um, a storyline and a theme, uh, which is kind of futuristic, sort of post-apocalyptic, cyberpunk kind of thing going on. Uh, they do include some electronics and synths in their music, which all sound very good on this album, and they really add a lot to the sound. Like I mentioned, with them having a story going along with the band, the 
sound of the music fits very well with that narrative. And finally, the uh, lyrics throughout the album are also pretty good. Um, I wouldn't say that all of them are necessarily like anything mind-blowing, but uh, for what they are, they are still uh, pretty good. As for negatives, there are quite a lot less negatives about this album. One thing it, which really is kind of a nitpick because the music overall is really good is that a couple of the songs do drag on a little bit. Uh, there's even one song that uh, surpasses the seven minute mark. Um, not by much, but just by a little bit. If you're not a fan of longer songs and you might not really be into this album because a lot of the songs are like five or six minutes long at times. Um, the music itself is still good, so it's not really a big issue, but it is something I wanted to point out. Another thing is that while the Queen singing vocals do sound very good and are well done, at times the vocal effects that are put on them can sound a little bit weird, particularly on the song Remembrance. It really isn't many other places that I noticed that had sort of weird sounding vocals, but um, that song in particular in the chorus when the Queen singing shows up. It just sounds a little off. And like I mentioned, the guitars are also very well done. And while I do still stand by that and say that um, all of the guitars throughout the album are very good, not all of the riffs are particularly memorable. Like I said, they're still very good and there are some real highlights uh, for guitar riffs on this album, but they're not always like anything incredible. Another thing is there are a lot of good lead guitar parts actually throughout the album, um, but there aren't any guitar solos, um, which I don't really have a problem if an album doesn't have any guitar solos. If they are on it, then that's great. If not, then that's fine too. But um, I can't, I'm not 100% sure about this, but I feel like they did have not very many, but a couple of guitar solos on some of their past albums. I might be wrong about that. But from what I noticed on this album, I don't believe there are any, um, and I think it could have benefited from that a little bit, but the songs are pretty good as they are anyways. So um, it would have just been kind of adding in something else that could mix it up a little bit. Maybe they didn't include them because it didn't work with the songs, I don't know. But um, I think that would have been kind of cool to put in too. And the final negative, which is probably the least important thing here is that the intro and the outro are really nothing special. They, like the name says, they just serve to be an intro and an outro, and really nothing more than that. That's really not a huge deal, but it is something I wanted to mention. So overall, the album is very good, and I did enjoy it a lot. I do expect it to probably be on my uh, top albums of 2018 list if I do that. Um, at the end of the year on this channel, and even if I don't, it'll still probably end up being one of my favorite albums of the year, I expect. It's really good, and I highly recommend that you check it out. Um, I'm not sure if I would say it's their best album. It's very, very close to their last album, Identity, which in my opinion uh, is the best out of their first three albums. This album is really close to that. I don't know if it's better or not. It, I would say it probably is, but not by much. It is still a really, really great album. As for my three favorites from the album, that is a bit of a difficult decision for me because I think every song on uh, The Alliance is very good. I don't really think there are any bad songs on the album. However, if I had to choose three favorites, they would probably be Dream Smasher, The Alliance, and either Leviathan, Aeons or Reject the Stream. It's kind of a toss-up between those three. Um, I'm not really sure which one I choose. Really, I like those three just about equally. So that brings this video to a close. What do you think of this album? If you have heard it, if you haven't, are you gonna go listen to it? I highly recommend you do. If you have any other recommendations for, or suggestions for reviews or anything like that, or any other videos in general, then feel free to leave those in the comments. That's the end of this video, so I guess I will see you guys next time.